You are looking live at the city where the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776. Tonight, we locate for the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on the week of Independence Day. This is Friday Night Smackdown, the Great American Bash. And coming up tonight in South Philly, it is the return of the Great One, The Rock. The host of SummerSlam this August is in the house tonight to give us a preview of what is to come August 17th in Detroit, Michigan. Also tonight, the red, white, blue, and gold will be on the line as the one and only Ricochet once again crosses pass with Carmelo Hayes. Hayes has been a thorn in the side of the one and only. Can Ricochet finally put Melo behind him when the title's on the line here tonight? And last week in Atlanta, Cody Rhodes and Ilya Dragunov met with an ambush from behind by Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium. We know Dragunov gets his hands on Gunther at Money in the Bank. Cody Rhodes awaits the winner at SummerSlam. But tonight, Rhodes and Dragunov unite to take on Imperium in what should be a massive, explosive tag team matchup here at the Great American Bash. And speaking of tag team action, we kick things off tonight at the Wells Fargo Center with the WWE Tag Team Championship on the line. Last week in State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits surviving a very chaotic, fatal four-way elimination contest to earn the right to challenge for the gold here tonight. Outlasting Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci of Imperium, taking down Axiom and Nathan Frazier, as well as the former champions, A-Town Down Under. And now the Street Profits waltz in the Philadelphia tonight with their eyes on the prize. Dawkins and Ford have been chasing Tag Team Championship gold all throughout 2024. Will their journey culminate in this contest here on Friday Night SmackDown? Should be one hell of a night here at the Great American Bash in Philadelphia. As you just saw, we are on the road to Money in the Bank a week from tomorrow at the O2 in London, England. Where of course, the World Heavyweight Championship will be defended as the Ring General Gunther puts the gold on the line against the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. Money in the Bank qualifier on hand later tonight as well as Alidolo Andrade squares off with the almighty Bobby Lashley. A chance to join what is going to be a six-man fray next Saturday night in London and a chase to the top of the ladder for the contract that will hang above. High stakes, high reward tonight in Philadelphia. What bigger way to kick things off with the very first defense from the LWO. It was back at Super Smackdown last month in Mexico City where Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio secured the WWE Tag Team title. Taking down Austin Theory and Grayson Waller in a stellar main event in front of 50,000 strong in Estadio Azteca last month. Now Escobar and Rey Look on to greener pastures. Look on to the rest of the tag team division. Looking to see who is going to step up. And they got their answer last week when Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins emerged from the field as the number one contenders. I'll tell you what, this may be the first offense for Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar here tonight. But they fought long and hard to obtain the gold that is now around their waist today. You gotta believe the Latino World Order willing to fight just as much to retain the gold by any means necessary, even if they are against a game street profits here tonight. But it's going to be an awesome night of action. Live in the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We thank you for joining us live across the world here at the Great American Bash. The WWE Tag Team title on the line to kick things off as we think things down to Samantha Irvin. The following contest is a tag. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! And their opponents at a combined weight of 375 pounds, the WWE.
Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio locked and loaded, ready to defend those tag team titles. They're handing them over to Charles Robinson for the first time, and it very well may be the last. If Dawkins and Ford can survive the numbers last week in that fatal four-way elimination contest against three other motivated teams in the division here on SmackDown, who's to say they can't take down the Latino world order when the gold's on the line? And here we go. The bell has sounded on what should be a great night of action here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the Great American Bash. Santos Escobar and Montez Ford kicking things off. Escobar and Ray, first action they are seeing since taking down A Town Down Under back at Super SmackDown in Mexico City last month. Coming off that high, you gotta wonder if Escobar and Ray. As Escobar starts to get fired up, you gotta wonder if the Latino World Order is ready to come back down this size tonight, come back down to unfamiliar soils, if that makes sense. Obviously fighting in Mexico City, they were in their own backyard tonight. The odds may be stacked against the champions. Nonetheless, Montez Ford sending Santos Escobar into Street Profits territory. Dawkins and Ford, as we mentioned, chasing tag team championship gold throughout 2024. Before they were drafted to Friday Night SmackDown, back in the month of April, they were over on Raw and challenging Jay and Jimmy Uso for the world tag team titles. A pursuit that did obviously not work out. But never have we taken away for the talents of Dawkins and Ford all the tools to be tag team champions yet again. Great offense by the duo that time. And now Angelo Dawkins just looking to stretch out Santos Escobar. You take out the breathing techniques, you're going to take away a lot of that high flying that not only Escobar, but Rey Mysterio, the entire Latino world order, loves to implore between the ropes. If one thing we saw back in Mexico City and even in the pursuit to becoming number one contenders is that LWO has a never say die attitude. Even when you think their backs against the wall and they have been beaten down and are done for the night, they find a way to get themselves up, dust themselves off and fly through the skies just like Mysterio did there. Right off the tag, Rey Mysterio leaving. The surface of the ring, souls flying through the skies. Rey Mysterio almost catching Dawkins that time. Rey Mysterio, a Hall of Famer, has been there, has done that, has beaten them all. And now one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, at least momentarily, as he almost got caught by the big AD that time. And Mysterio once more sent to enemy territory. The Street Profits cannot allow Ray and Escobar to truly get going and start flying around Philadelphia. That will be the number one contender's detriment. Montez Ford with the tag. The Street Profits continuing this pursuit of the WWE Tag Team Championships on a night where so much hangs in the balance here on Friday Night SmackDown at the Great American Bash. Off a little double team. We look ahead to the Money in the Bank qualifier that is gonna be coming up shortly here in Philadelphia. The almighty Bobby Lashley set to go one-on-one -on -one with El Idolo Andrade. Winner is gonna join Trick Williams from SmackDown, Braun Breaker, and Sami Zayn from Raw on their way to Money in the Bank next Saturday night. Also signed and set to be delivered, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, one-on-one -on -one with the LWO's Zelina Vega. Vega fell short to EO Sky in the Money in the Bank qualifier last week. We're going to bounce back against somebody who's been hanging around EO as of late. That being Asuka, they're going to collide later tonight here on SmackDown. Dawkins taking the fight to the outside there, which I'm not sure if that is going to be the best case scenario for the LWO. Dawkins and Ford may not be afraid to break things down into a brawl tonight, but they may not need to. Dawkins cutting Mysterio in half with a spear, nearly becoming the WWE Tag Team Champions. Mysterio and Escobar's strong suit is going to be when their soles of their boots are not on the canvas. Soaring through the skies, just like that. Dawkins and Ford are going to have to use some of their strength and brawling attributes to their abilities. Which duo will be the better duo hoisting up the gold here tonight in Philadelphia? That is the question we remain an answer to. Tag made to the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar. 
Former three-time Cruiserweight Champion, now one half the WWE Tag Team Champions, Escobar continuing to be a player here on SmackDown. Meanwhile, the Street Profits are trying to remind the world just what they are capable of in the Tag Team Division. Former NXT Tag Team Champions, WWE Tag Team Champions as well, but it has been quite some time since Dawkins and Ford were in the spotlight, whether it was over on Raw or here on SmackDown. Oh man, and this could easily turn things around. Yeah. Blockbuster by Montez Ford. What a maneuver that nearly wins the Street Profits the gold. May not have gotten the three count, but you gotta believe the Street Profits are getting real close to the finish line. Escobar taking down once more. Montez Ford going for the splash. Santos getting the knees up. A much needed reversal that time. And now a destroyer by one half of the champions. The action picking up here in Philadelphia as we once again see an ear fall. A well-timed reversal by the Emperor of Lucha Libre there that almost was the detriment of Montez Ford. Ford luckily willing himself to a kick out that time, but how much was taken out of both of these men after some explosive maneuvers over the last 60 seconds and change. Escobar just stomping away in the corner, trying to wear down one half of tonight's challengers. Much needed tag to Angelo Dawkins, Santos Escobar, however, catches him with a well-timed crossbody. Oh, LWO are picking up steam here. Down goes the big AD off the Phantom Driver. Not just yet, the tag team titles nearly remaining with the LWO. Philadelphia, an appreciation of the efforts by both the champions and the challengers as the LWO looks to keep momentum on their side. Not sure if that was a miscommunication on the game plan there by Santos and Ray, but nonetheless, Angelo Dawkins, little bit of time for some R&R. &R. Now gonna use it to his advantage, and the power game of Dawkins could be the difference maker tonight. Another cover that time. And the Street Profits one step closer to obtaining championship gold. We're the first of two titles to be defended tonight on behalf of Friday Night SmackDown still to come. The human highlight reel ricochet puts the United States Championship on the line the week of Independence Day as he goes 1v1 against Carmelo Hayes. Meanwhile, tag made to Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, and the Street Profits. Maybe a little miscommunication on their half that time as Santos Escobar now the one with some time of R&R. &R. Taking down four once more, and whatever the Emperor of Lucha Libre has got in mind certainly is not gonna go well for Montez Ford. Tag made to the Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio swinging a fist. And a drop kick. Montez Ford fighting between a rock and a hard place this time. I'll tell you what, the Street Profits have played a good game fighting out of their territory, constantly trying to send the Latino World Order away from their partner. However, Mysterio continues to fight. Ford set of the ropes, dial up the cell phones, a little 619 here in Philadelphia. Montez Ford may be seeing Independence Day fireworks. Angelo Dawkins not allowing a three count that time. Mysterio hustle it up. Front flash. LWO into the cover. Championships remain with the Latino World Order. An exciting tag team contest to kick things off as Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford give it their best go around. But Escobar and Ray fought long and hard to obtain the gold, and you gotta believe they're gonna fight even harder to attain them. LWO victorious.
Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio hoisting the gold high in the sky after their first successful defense of those very... Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Angel and Humberto, what the hell? What the hell are these guys doing out here? An ambush on the WWE Tag Team Champions. Well, it's been some time since these two men were in tag team action here on SmackDown, but it looks like they're not waiting around for an opportunity. Gores and Carrillo looking to jump the line in the tag team division. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. We want to take you back to last week on SmackDown. Cody Rhodes one-on-one -on -one with the Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough. A challenge laid out by the Irish Devil after Cody knocked him out of the first round of the King of the Ring Tournament. It looked as if J.D. was regretting his decision to step in the ring with the American Nightmare. Tried to flee on the contest only to be met by the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, guarding his pathway to the locker room. McDonough went on to come up short to Cody Rhodes. As for Tyler Bate, we take you over to Velocity on TikTok this past Wednesday. One on one with Wesley in an extraordinary contest, a part of the cruiserweight division. And Tyler Bate, who came up short to Wesley last month on SmackDown, able to erase the memory of that victory with a new one just 48 hours ago. Tyler Bate obviously looking to get into the crosshairs of J.D. McDonough, and we can confirm that coming up a week from tomorrow, both of these international superstars return to familiar soils in the United Kingdom. J.D. McDonough will defend the Cruiserweight Championship of the World against the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. That is coming up a week from tomorrow at the O2 in London at Money in the Bank. And speaking of money in the bank, who will be next to join the field? It is a money in the bank qualifier, live and in living color from the Great American Bash. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The As Latchley approaches the squared circle, let us take a look at who has already punched their ticket to London, England. The badass Braun Breaker, as well as the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn from Monday Night Raw. Last week on SmackDown, Trick Williams taking down Chad Gable. Trick Williams with the biggest opportunity of his young career coming up a week from tomorrow at Money in the Bank. But still three more slots to be determined over the next seven days. And the almighty Bobby Lashley looking to join the fray and get another opportunity to become a world champion here in the WWE. But first things first, he's got to get through El Idolo, Andrade, who I am sure is coming in tonight very locked, loaded, and motivated to take down the strong and powerful almighty. And his opponent from Gomez Palacio Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 210 pounds, Andrea! Andrade coming up short in the gauntlet matchup, as did Bobby Lashley two weeks ago. And a chance to go on to challenge Guthrie for the World Heavyweight Championship at Money in the Bank. So the victor went to spoils, and the spoils go to the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, who will be in action later tonight here in Philadelphia. But as for Andrade, you want to talk about opportunities. Not only fell short in that gauntlet matchup two weeks ago, but also last month at Super SmackDown was knocked out of the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament by the inevitable winner in the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. 
Luckily for Andrade, he continues to find himself at the door of success. The only thing standing in between Andrade and Championship Gold is kicking down that door and seizing the opportunity. Now another one arises, a Money in the Bank qualifier. Will Andrade be the second SmackDown superstar to join the fray a week from tomorrow in London, or will that victor be the almighty Bobby Lashley? Bobby Lashley has, of course, had his issues with the Apex Predator Randy Orton over the last few months on SmackDown. I am sure Lashley is feeling motivated, although coming up short in that gauntlet matchup has to be hanging his hat on the victory he scored over Randy Orton in the middle of said gauntlet. Lashley looking to focus on the future, and that could start here tonight at the Great American Bash with this money in the bank qualifier. Here we go, Lashley and Andrade locking horns on what has been a very high-profile night and what will continue to be a very high-profile night here at Philadelphia on SmackDown. Look at Lashley immediately trying to take the wind out of Andrade's sails on the outside of the ring. Lashley obviously with the strength and size and the power in his corner tonight. Andrade's got to utilize the speed, the agility, and some of the high-flying offense that that Lucha Libre star brings to the table. And there you saw it right there with that springboard dropkick that Andrade loves to lean on. Back-to-back -back times, it takes Lashley off his feet. Look at Andrade, just knows how to take a superstar the size of Bobby Lashley down to size. Andrade's been back here on SmackDown for a couple of months, has seen some ups and downs, but has certainly turned some heads along the way. An extraordinary talent is a former United States champion, as well as a former NXT champion in Andrade. But what will be the next chapter of Andrade's career that he will write? Will it be money in the bank? Certainly a tall task for Andrade tonight and the almighty Bobby Lashley. Never count the man out as he's got Lashley up against the ropes right now. The Almighty got to find a way back into this matchup in the early going. Andrade, as we mentioned, loves to lean on that springboard drop kick. May have went to the well too many times. Lashley with an explosive power bomb. And that is Lashley leaning on his strong suits. Literally the strength and the size, the power of Bobby Lashley muscling Andrade down to the canvas and takes him down once more. You know, Lashley was very frustrated towards the back half of last year and leading into the early part of 2024, a part of the Monday Night Raw roster. Felt that he had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for the WWE Championship waiting for him that he never truly got. Came to SmackDown looking for an opportunity at the World Heavyweight title, which he obtained last month at the King of the Ring against the Ring General Gunther. Lashley coming up short to Gunther on that night, but just as we said is Andrade, once again finding himself at the door of success. Who will be the one kicking it open and qualifying for Money in the Bank tonight? Andrade, man, misstep on that springboard dropkick a few moments ago. It's been all Bobby Lashley, but there's Andrade. Surprisingly able to get the much bigger and stronger Lashley off of him momentarily. Andrade has traveled all around this globe. World-renowned veteran of the squared circle. Championships all across the globe as well. Lashley, a veteran of the WWE with an MMA background. Certainly an interesting contrast in styles here on SmackDown tonight. It's one thing to knock Bobby Lashley down, but certainly a tall task to try to keep him there. Only a few men can truly say they have beaten Bobby Lashley Fair and square, Andrade looking to be another one of those superstars tonight. Certainly could not hesitate against a man like Bobby Lashley because Lashley will make him pay. Andrade's got to stick and move. Andrade hesitating and Lashley sending him over the top rope. Ever impressive. Look at Andrade trying to let adrenaline fuel him. Willing to feel the pain of being set over the top rope tomorrow morning. Right now it is about money in the bank. Now it is Lashley set to the barricade. Andrade back into the ring. 
Could have possibly gotten a count out victory that time, but Andrade following the almighty out there as well. Andrade again hesitating, and Bobby Lashley just taking him down to the canvas with a mean elbow that time. And, oh, wait a minute. That is the theme music of one Randy Orton. As we mentioned, somebody who has had many of issues with Bobby Lashley over the last two months on SmackDown. Oh, wait a minute, Lashley's eye take it off the ball. Hammerlock DDT by El Idolo. With an asterisk and with an assist, Andrade stole the victory. Randy Orton intervening, distracting Bobby Lashley when it mattered most. And unfortunately for the almighty, the demons of the past continue to haunt him. And Andrade wreaking the rewards of those issues. Andrade takes the fourth slot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Coming your way a week from tomorrow in London, England. Andrade and Trick Williams from SmackDown. Breaker and Sami Zayn from Monday Night Raw. Who is going to be next to join Money in the Bank? We're back live inside the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the Friday Night Smackdown edition of the Great American Bash. The Latino World Order's Zelina Vega in the house to take on the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. It was seven nights ago, Zelina fell short to the genius of the sky, EO Sky, in a Money in the Bank qualifier. Zelina looking to bounce back tonight against somebody who has been hanging around the corner of EO as of late. Asuka, who turned away Roxanne Perez two weeks ago, may be looking to etch her name as the next number one contender for Raquel Rodriguez. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! And once again, Io Sky in the corner of Asuka tonight. Some kind of partnership clearly beginning to form between these two women. They have battled in the past, they have teamed in the past, but obviously a game plan at hand as Asuka approaches the squared circle with one of four women who have already qualified for Money in the Bank a week from tomorrow. Io Sky and Shayna Baszler from Friday Night SmackDown, Tiffany Stratton and the man Becky Lynch who returned this past Monday night from Raw. Four of the six women already set to compete in Money in the Bank. Of course, we know coming up this Monday night, Cora Jade meets Mee Chin in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Next Friday night on SmackDown, action to come as well. But here tonight at the Great American Bash, Selena Vega has certainly got her hands full with a version of Asuka that's looking scarier than ever. Nonetheless, the action rolls on. And as we mentioned, Asuka may be looking an opportunity to become the women's world champion. Two weeks ago, challenging Roxanne Perez to a rematch from the Women's World Championship Eliminator last month. Asuka picking up the victory on that night. Io Sky, who was turned away by Raquel Rodriguez back at King of the Ring in retention of Raquel's championship gold. So many women currently eyeing up the Money in the Bank ladder matchup and still trying to prove themselves worthy of a qualifier to try to earn their spot. It, May have taken a little bit of attention away from Raquel Rodriguez, and Asuka may be seeing a clear-cut pathway to challenging for championship gold. Turned away Roxanne Perez two weeks ago. If she can turn away Zelina Vega tonight, there may be no questioning Asuka's pursuit. The Women's World Championship here on SmackDown. 
I am sure that is something that the genius of the sky, EO Sky, also currently eyeing up as well, but EO currently, as we mentioned, already qualified for money in the bank. Other things to focus on at the current moment as Zelina Vega off the middle buckle with the Meteora. And the cover on Asuka. The Empress of Tomorrow still into this, but Selena Vega like a spark plug just exploding in the early part of this matchup. Trying to keep the Latino World Order's momentum at a high. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar retaining their WWE Tag Team Championship already tonight. Fortunately, their celebration cut short by the arrival of Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo and ambushed inside the squared circle, but retention of their gold nonetheless. And now Zelina Vega will get a bounce back. And that Money in the Bank qualifier lost last week to EO Sky as she takes on Asuka tonight. You know, we're putting a lot of attention on Asuka possibly challenging for the Women's World Championship. But what about Zelina, the first lady of the LWO, the last woman, Shayna Baszler, before she dropped the title to Raquel Rodriguez, the last successful defense for the Queen of Spades several months ago. Zelina found herself the number one contender for the championship just a few months back on SmackDown and could be looking to do so again. I don't know if Oscar's got anything to say about it. Look at the Empress starting to come unglued. One kick after another. Almost had Zelina Vega that time. But Vega has got to be careful. It is those lethal kicks that knocked out the prodigy Roxanne Perez two weeks ago here on SmackDown. And it could spell the end of the first lady of the LWO's pursuit of victory tonight as well. Zelina trying to fight back. Hustle it up and taking down Asuka with the tilt to whirl momentarily. Asuka set to the corner. Dare I say, Selena has been the aggressor for the majority of this matchup so far. Asuka's shown some signs of life, but Vega has been in control. You know, I will give Asuka and Io a little bit of credit. Two women who have been hanging around each other as of late. Io Sky never been afraid to bend the rules, but. They've just been watching over each other's back. Not necessarily getting in each other's business when the bell sounds. Every kind of partnership continues to form between Asuka and Io. Something that the rest of the SmackDown Women's Division certainly needs to look out for as Alina Vega almost caught coming out of the corner with that power bomb, Able to get the shoulder off the canvas just in the nick of time. Nonetheless, Asuka finding Zelina down and out and looking to keep the foot on the gas pedal. And Asuka is certainly happy with her work so far. I want to once again thank you for joining us live tonight all across the world for this live premiere event from the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Great night at night one of the Great American Bash this past Monday. Monday Night Raw, Rhea Ripley retaining her women's championship over Liv Morgan in an incredible last woman standing contest. And as for the SmackDown women, Asuka and Zelina Vega taking center stage here in Philadelphia. And Asuka knocking Zelina's lights out. The Empress continues to pick up momentum here on SmackDown. We gotta wonder who's gonna be the front runner of momentum on the road to SummerSlam as we approach Saturday night, August the 17th. Mark it on your calendars. We're coming to Detroit, Michigan, Ford Field for the 2024 biggest party of the summer. Well, still to come tonight, the great one, The Rock, is in the house here in Philadelphia. But we already know he will be the special guest host. The Rock will also be in the house coming up on Saturday night, August the 17th in Ford Field at SummerSlam. And of course, with winning the King of the Ring Tournament, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes will challenge the World Heavyweight Champion in the main event at the biggest party of the summer. But who will be holding the gold? Will it be the current champion, Gunther? Or will it be the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov? We are gonna have an answer to that question coming up a week from tomorrow in the O2 in London, England. These old rivals lock horns once again, and the stakes could be any higher. Gunther puts the World Heavyweight Championship on the line against the Tsar, Ilya Dragunov.
And we're going to take you back once more to SmackDown last week. Cody Rhodes picking up a huge victory in the main event over the Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough. Ilya Dragunov approaching the squared circle after the matchup, I think just to remind Cody Rhodes what the matchup could be come SummerSlam this August. And those two men went, met with a sneak attack by Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium. Imperium looking to get the jump on the two men who could be coming after Gunther's World Championship. Are the walls beginning to close in on Gunther's dominating reign as the World Heavyweight Champion? Dragunov looms a week from tomorrow. Cody Rhodes awaits the winner, August 17th at SummerSlam. But tonight, it is up to Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser to send a direct message courtesy of the Ring General. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Gonta at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Lindsay Kaiser. Imperia! Guther has continued to perform when the pressure is mounted on his shoulders. A big fight player. It certainly has become the inevitable for many of superstars here on SmackDown. Some have called him the final boss, but you can absolutely call him the World Heavyweight Champion. Since Sunday night, November the 19th of last year, Guther has reigned on Friday Night SmackDown with an iron fist, turning away the likes of Drew McIntyre, Ricochet, Edge, Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley, The Beast, Brock Lesnar. But will Ilya Dragunov be the one to take down Guther a week from tomorrow when these two international superstars return to extremely familiar soils? The Man Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, at one point in time toppled the 800 day NXT United Kingdom Championship reign of Gunther. Gunther may be better than ever, but if anybody's got his number, you may be looking at him. And their opponents, first from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 100. Ilya Dragunov defeated Guther several years ago to become the NXT United Kingdom Champion. And just as Guther has continued to become better, has continued to be more dominant in his reign on Friday Night SmackDown, Dragunov has continued to climb the ladder of success. A former Intercontinental Champion, a former Cruiserweight Champion, the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic winner a semi-finalist in the King of the Ring tournament, and of course the man who survived the gauntlet just two weeks ago. If anybody can take down Gunther, you may be looking at him. And with Cody Rhodes looming at SummerSlam, the pressure may be higher than ever for the Ring General Gunther. We said it once, we'll say it again. The walls may be closing in on Gunther's dominant reign atop Friday Night SmackDown. And it could very well be a semi-final King of the Ring rematch for the gold when we get to Ford Field this August. Well, it certainly wouldn't be night two of the Great American Bash, the week of Independence Day, without an appearance for the 2024 King of the Ring winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes looks for his date with destiny, Saturday night, August the 17th. But tonight, he looks to settle the score way in advance with Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser.
Cody Rhodes and Ilya Dragunov may have went to war just a few weeks ago in the semi-finals of the King of the Ring tournament, but respect was certainly earned in the means of combat back in New Orleans, Louisiana. And on their journey to their respective championship matches, they stand side by side tonight with the enemy. Kaiser and Vinci here tonight to send an emphatic message to the American Nightmare as well as the Mad Dragon. Guther looks to turn away the challenge of Ilya Dragunov a week from tomorrow. Looks to right the wrong of last year's SummerSlam against Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam. All remains to be seen if Gunther will be successful. But there are two men right there who are looking to hold the big gold belt. And Dragunov high out of the gate as this matchup is underway right after Kaiser. You gotta imagine the number one contender for Money in the Bank and the man who awaits the winner at SummerSlam in Cody Rhodes. We're looking to get an ounce of payback here tonight after that ambush that signed us off seven nights ago on SmackDown. Certainly orders of the ring General Gunther last week to take out the men that he looks to pursue. Ilya Dragunov has certainly been making a hell of a lot of waves here on SmackDown. This is a man who defeated Sheamus in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Defeated Drew McIntyre in the quarterfinals. Was within inches of taking down Cody Rhodes in the semifinals as well. Dragunov once again with a pinfall victory over the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre two weeks ago in a gauntlet matchup. Although Ludwig Kaiser taking control in this tag team contest so far, you gotta believe Guther may be worried about the matchup coming up in London, England a week from tomorrow. Guther and Dragunov, no strangers to each other, went to war several years ago over the NXT United Kingdom Championship. Ilya Dragunov was able to defeat Gunther, win the gold. One of only three men to ever defeat Gunther here in the WWE. Now these two men return to the United Kingdom and the stakes could not be any higher. Talking about men who have earned victories over Gunther. Wait a minute, hold that thought. Ludwig Kaiser tying up Dragunov in the ropes. My goodness. Baseball slide, drop kick, whatever you want to call it. Kaiser looking to decimate Ilya Dragunov here tonight. And a tag made to Giovanni Vinci, and Vinci's just got to pick up the scraps of the Mad Dragon right now. Went to talk a little smack to Cody Rhodes, and Dragunov making him pay. You want to talk about men who have defeated Gunther. Ilya Dragunov, of course, one of them. To the NXT United Kingdom Championship several years ago, but it was last year at SummerSlam that Cody Rhodes handed Guther his only loss since joining the SmackDown roster since December of 2022. 30 victories for the ring general, many of them coming throughout his World Heavyweight Championship reign, of course. I'm sure there is part of Guther who would almost love to get in the ring with Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam and prove that he is better than the American Nightmare once and for all. So much riding on both of those potential matches, whether it be Dragunov versus Cody or Cody versus Guther, but all remains to be seen what is going to happen in Money in the Bank between Guther and Dragunov. Right now, very clear what is being seen here in Philadelphia. Cody Rhodes stomping a mud hole and Giovanni Vinci. However, Kaiser dropping it with an uppercut for his troubles. The message was sent by Imperium last week. Tonight could be the icing on the cake and could certainly be a confidence killer for the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and certainly the man who takes on the ring general a week from tomorrow. Imperium looking to do one good by the World Heavyweight Champion who looms at ringside tonight. Meanwhile, Kaiser with an air raid crash to the King of the Ring winner. Cody's still into this matchup, but gotta believe a hell of a lot was taken out off that maneuver. Nonetheless, Kaiser trying to go behind. Cody Rhodes, German suplex, great reversal. Cody obviously feeling a sense of urgency. And a big time maneuver by Kaiser, and it's the American Nightmare dropping Ludwig once more. Tag back to the Mad Dragon. 
And now here's Drag It Off. Power bomb. Kaiser staring up at the ceiling of Wells Fargo Center. Giovanni Vinci breaking things up. Ilya Drag It Off, however. The steam coming out of the man, Dragon, spewing his fire all over Philadelphia. Down goes Vinci. Kaiser back into the ring. Torpedo Moscow! Thanks for coming, Imperium. Gunther cannot be happy about this. Cody Rhodes awaits no matter what at SummerSlam, but a week from tomorrow at Money in the Bank. Are we listening to the sounds of Ilya Dragunov's finest symphony yet as he approaches a matchup for the World Heavyweight title? Here are your winners, the team of Ilya Dragunov and Cody Rhodes. I will tell you what, the World Heavyweight Championship scene is fired up here on SmackDown. And there is the man, the Mad Dragon, who could be taking down the ring general a week from tomorrow. Well, coming up next here in Philadelphia, the United States Championship is on the line as Ricochet once again defends his gold against Carmelo Hayes. Hayes has continued to be a thorn in the side of Ricochet ever since coming up short back on May the 4th at Battleground in his first opportunity to win the red, white, blue, and gold. Carmelo Hayes drafted the SmackDown back in April and ever since has been on the tail of the one and only. We saw an incredible matchup of athleticism and one-upsmanship between these two men back at Battleground in Sacramento, one that saw Ricochet retaining his gold. But ever since then, Carmelo Hayes, as we mentioned, has continued to be a thorn in the side. Ricochet defeating Kofi Kingston in an open challenge, ambushed by Melo after the matchup, defeating Chad Gable in an open challenge, once again ambushed by Melo. Will tonight be Carmelo Hayes' biggest victory of his SmackDown career, or will Ricochet continue to press forward as the United States Champion? Well, Carmelo Hayes says that Melo don't miss. And tonight is the night to prove it. He took whatever underhanded tactic he needed to do. Ambushed Ricochet from behind on more than one occasion. Got under the skin of the champion and has now found himself with yet another championship opportunity. It is win or go home. Win the United States Championship or head directly to the back of the line for the man they call him. And of course the X Factor and Trick Williams accompanying Carmelo Hayes to this United States Championship title fight tonight. Williams with his opportunity a week from tomorrow when he competes in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. But tonight the spotlight is on Carmelo Hayes as he looks to run things back with Ricochet, hopefully for him with a different result. But I will tell you, Ricochet, somebody who has been a pillar of the Friday Night SmackDown brand over the last few years, someone who has rose to the occasion, and certainly a deserving United States champion, winning the gold back in April against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Retaining it over the likes of Kofi Kingston, Chad Gable, and of course, Mello himself. But will tonight spell the end for the one and only? One and only. If Ricochet's got anything to say about it, it's just going to be another night. Just another Friday night for the human highlight reel. The United States Champion out to do one thing and one thing only, and that is retain his gold and continue to challenge anybody who steps up here on Friday Night SmackDown.
Well, I will tell you, as we mentioned, it is put up or shut up for Carmelo Hayes tonight. Ambushing Ricochet on numerous occasions over the last several of weeks, but you also got to wonder if Ricochet is a little bit extra fired up coming into this matchup, if Melo has gotten under the skin, and if Ricochet is going to be extra aggressive tonight, opposed to what he was two months ago at Battleground, which was a highly competitive, and as I mentioned, a bit of a one-upsmanship type of matchup. But nonetheless, it is our in-ring main event as we still await the arrival of the SummerSlam host, the great one, The Rock. The lights are on bright for this United States Championship matchup. Night two of the Great American Bash being headlined courtesy of Friday Night Smackdown with the red, white, blue, and gold on the line. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE. Carmelo Hayes has played all the right games. He has put the target on the back of Ricochet. The question is, will Melo be able to hit the bullseye and win the United States Championship? Melo says he doesn't miss. It is put up or shut up. The gold is on the line. Two months ago, Ricochet was the victor in this same outing. But obviously a little bit of a different story as Melo has continued to dig underneath the skin of the human highlight reel. Ricochet out for a little bit of retribution and also a retention of his gold. Bell has sounded, we are underway. Ricochet high out of the gate with a tilt to whirl. And we may have just gotten our answer. If Ricochet was gonna be a little bit extra aggressive tonight against Carmelo Hayes, Melo taken down in the early moments. Ricochet keeping his foot on the gas pedal, which sometimes may be a detriment to some superstars, but this is the pace that Ricochet loves to implore. The former tag team champion, former cruiserweight champion, current United States champion. Ricochet has done a lot just in the last few years here on Friday Night SmackDown, all the while becoming one of the faces of Friday Night. Melo looking to take his spot here tonight. Gotta give credit where credit's due. They've never once taken away from the talents of Carmelo Hayes. Great springboard moments ago to knock down the one and only. This former NXT North American champion, somebody who had a bit of an up and down year in his first year, a part of the main roster over on Monday Night Raw, has certainly began to turn some heads and climb the ladder throughout 2024. Now here on SmackDown looks to put a bow on that package and win the United States Championship. Melo's best blueprint in this matchup may be to ground Ricochet. Ricochet loves to be, of course, off his boots. Well, not in that case. Carmelo Hayes sending Ricochet over the top rope, but Ricochet loving to fly through the air. It's where he is best. It is where he has retained his gold. Carmelo Hayes looking to slow down the pace. Maybe break things down into a brawl if need be. And just try to ground the United States champion. That shooting star press. And Ricochet delivered two months ago at Battleground to defeat Carmelo Hayes and retain the gold. The same shooting star press that defeated Kofi Kingston as well as Chad Gable. And the reason we mention is if this pursuit, this beatdown by Melo keeps up, I don't think there's going to be any shooting stars here in the week of Independence Day by Ricochet. But there's the one and only looking to turn the tables. Melo obviously can't win this matchup via count out. It certainly can do a number on the ring outside of the squared circle. The champion sent back inside. Whatever blueprint Melo's got in mind, right now he is currently in control. They hesitated a bit too long. Melo sent to the ropes. Ricochet. We're going to rev up the engines here in Philadelphia. And a nice takedown. 
Rick Williams trying to get up to any antics he can at ringside. Ricochet off the springboard moonsault. Over Chad Patton's back his turn. I believe Trick Williams exposed the turnbuckle. Well, just like that, Trick proving to be an X-Factor for his main man, Carmelo Hayes, in the early moments of this United States Championship matchup. Nonetheless, Ricochet not going to whine, not going to complain, just going to keep pushing forward. Another takedown on the challenger. Ricochet's got to keep eyes in the back of his head with Trick Williams at ringside. Trick has got his opportunity and the biggest one of his career at that. Competing in Money in the Bank a week from tomorrow in London, England. But tonight the spotlight is on Carmelo Hayes. Go big or go home. I think that's what Ricochet has got in mind as he sends Melo over the top rope. Ricochet looking to soar through the skies of Philadelphia. Melo did his homework. Cut off dead center of the ring. Melo not looking to allow Ricochet to do what he does best. That aerial offense that has brought him so much success. Melo with a well-timed reversal. And now here's Ricochet taking things to the air once more. Inside of the ring. Moon salt of Carmelo Hayes. Ain't nothing you can do when a body's flying through the sky directly at you. Melo trying to dip and dodge, but Ricochet once again taking down Melo. Melo looking like a lost cause inside of the ring, inside of the ring right now. And a corkscrew by the United States champion. Melo might have got a cut off a few minutes ago, but Ricochet recouped in a matter of moments. And now, Asai Moonsault by the United States Champion. Ricochet is showing why. He is one of the faces of Friday nights. Why he is the United States Champion. And it's also showing why Carmelo Hayes is so desperate for Ricochet's spot to become the champion, to earn that championship money, to earn that spotlight. Another cover by Ricochet, but Melo still into this thing. Two months ago at Battleground, Ricochet was the victor, taking down Carmelo Hayes in a retention of the United States title. Melo off the first 48, now looking for a different result. Just like that, Melo catching Ricochet. Elects not to go for the cover, looking to inflict some more offense. Take down of the champion. Ricochet continues to try to look on the greener pastures, but Melo a reoccurring theme. And now on top, could be looking for the slam dunk. Ricochet off the counter. They know each other well. They've done the homework. Counter by Ricochet that time. Well, there's one thing that Ricochet, whether he studies for or not, knows is going to be here. And that is the X Factor of Trick Williams. Ain't nothing you can do but try to shake it off. Nonetheless, Melo taking advantage of the distraction. Back and forth we start to go. In your in-ring main event on a night where the great one, The Rock, still is set to return here on Friday Night SmackDown. Off the middle buckle. It's been a hell of a night here in Philadelphia. High stakes as championships are being decided. Money in the Bank qualifier earlier tonight as well. All on the road to Money in the Bank a week from tomorrow in London, England. Melo taken down off the top rope. And not hesitate when you're in there. With somebody who can strike quick and strike fast. Just like that. Ricochet off the springboard. Would very well be Ricochet's biggest and maybe his most meaningful defense of that championship yet. After the bad blood that he has had with Melo. And all those attacks that Melo implored on Ricochet just to get under his skin and to get Ricochet who grant him a championship opportunity. Another kick out by the champion that time. Melo cannot begin to get frustrated. Ricochet down. 
Melo can certainly not take this time. This is a rookie mistake. Dare I say, luckily for him, catches the United States champion with a springboard. Melo starting to slow down the pace here in your in-ring main event in Philadelphia. The United States Championship is on the line at night two of the Great American Bash. Carmelo Hayes, the challenger. Ricochet, the champion. Melo going to the top again. Could be looking for the leg drop. Ricochet countered it earlier as Melo feeling to go back to the well. Alex for the cross body, but Ricochet also with a reversal and slams Melo out of the canvas. Awesome reversal by Ricochet, however, unable to capitalize. Melo going for a suplex. The one and only goes behind, takes out the knee. Homework has been done, and now the questions of the test are being answered. Ricochet with Melo, fireman's carry position. Cradle shock into the cover. Not just yet, Melo's still alive. Back and forth, Ricochet put the exclamation point on that sequence of maneuvers. However, unable to get the three count he so desired. As we mentioned, it is that shooting star press that has not only helped Ricochet win the United States Championship, it is what re retained him the gold and all three of his defenses so far, including against Carmelo Hayes. Has not elected for the shooting star press just yet. Dare I say, has not really gotten in the position for it. Ricochet is able to scale the ropes and get Melo looking up at the lights. It may be all she wrote. Back and forth, reversal for reversal this time. Ricochet with a pump knee. Taking out Mello. Mello into the corner and, oh wait a minute, once again, I believe Trick Williams mouthing off to the United States champion at ringside, just trying to do all he can to get Mello a brief period of R&R. &R. Oof, may not matter. Ricochet off the cannonball. Mello's in prime position. Shooting star press by the champion. Oh no, Melo kick it out. Ricochet thought that was it. The shooting star that has retained him the gold of the past. Melo sneaking the pitfall. Not just yet, Ricochet, he kicks out. Oh man, oh man. Ricochet's gotta be racking his brain. Thought he had Melo, but Carmelo Hayes is still in this matchup. Taking down Ricochet momentarily. Melo looking to stack the offense. The champion in trouble. Into the cover. And we have a new United States champion. Melo put the target on Ricochet's back and he indeed hit the bullseye. Surviving the shooting star press, fighting through the pain and stacking the offense to take down the human highlight reel. Like him or not, Carmelo Hayes played the game and he's walking away with the prize of the United States title. Well, it has been a topic of discussion all night long and Money in the Bank is coming your way a week from tomorrow with the O2 in London, England live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And what a night of action across the pond it is going to be. The men's Money in the Bank ladder match beginning to take shape. Andrade, as well as Trick Williams from Friday Night SmackDown, the badass Braun Breaker and the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn from Monday Night Raw. And as for the women's side of the field, the genius of the sky, Io Sky, and Shayna Baszler representing the blue brand, Tiffany Stratton and the man, Becky Lynch, who returned this past Monday, representing Raw. And speaking of Raw, there is some bad blood between Jack and the megastar LA Knight. Jack tried to take out LA Knight in the parking garage last month, last month, but the megastar coming back for his retribution. 
As we found out earlier tonight, the Cruiserweight Championship of the World set to be defended as the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough, runs into the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. This former NXT United Kingdom champion returns to the UK looking to win a new piece of gold. From Monday Night Raw, the WWE Women's Championship is on the line. Rhea Ripley was the last woman standing this past Monday night, but now she turns to her next challenger, who's got red hot momentum in Bayley. It is the Monday Night Raw main event for the WWE Championship. The second city saint, CM Punk, has drawn a line in the sand and has made his intentions very clear. He has came back for one thing, to take down Kevin Owens and win the title. The Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, looks to continue to be the kryptonite to championship reigns housed by the ring general Gunther. The world title is on the line a week from tomorrow as the ring general runs in to the czar. And who will be earning the final spots in their respective Money in the Bank ladder matches? We find out next week in London, England, as Butch and Sheamus, two members of the Brawling Brutes, meet in a Money in the Bank qualifying contest. And as for the woman's side of the field, 24 hours before the briefcase hangs above the ring, Roxanne Perez and the ballsy badass Shotzi also meet in a woman's Money in the Bank qualifying match. And we saw the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, in action earlier tonight, continuing to rake up victories here on SmackDown. Next week in London, she is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Raquel Rodriguez, and the Women's World Championship is on the line. But we are not done just yet. The host of the 2024 Summer Slam event coming up on Saturday night, August the 17th, has graced us with his presence here at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The most electrifying star in all of sports entertainment. The Great One, The Rock, is on SmackDown! The Great American Bash on Raw this past week and SmackDown throughout tonight has been an extraordinary series of events. And what bigger way to conclude than with a special appearance from the man who made SmackDown famous. The Rock entering the squared circle for the first time since WrestleMania of 2023, and Philadelphia is on their feet. We gotta get a microphone in the hand of the Great One. The host of SummerSlam has got some things on his mind that we need to discuss here on Friday Night SmackDown. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Well, this is not what is supposed to be going down. The, the Rock is here to address the Philadelphia audience. Why the hell is Randy Orton's music playing for the second time tonight? We well, already. Oh, wait a minute. Orton! Jumping the guardrail! Just ambushed The Rock from behind! Orton's already made his presence felt. Costing Bobby Lashley a spot in Money in the Bank, but why the hell is he out here right now? And RKO to the SummerSlam host. The hell is this about? Randy Orton spoiling a great moment with a second RKO. That son of a bitch. Randy Orton can't let anybody have some damn fun or have any kind of spotlight. The voices in Orin's head delivering to him an unfortunate message to take down The Rock here at the Great American Bash.